Yeah, right, right through. You know, we've, uh, before last weekend and certainly after the weekend, we stressed, you know, the importance of playing 60 minutes or as close to as you can. And, um, you know, I certainly certainly think we got that tonight. Um, all through the lineup, you know, our D played fantastic. Mata was great. You know, a few times they got in behind us, he was there. I thought we did a good job clearing second pucks. Um, all three lines. Um, you know, obviously Curry and Yanni on the score sheet had a, had a special night and feds that line. But I really felt, you know, like Penny's line, you know, started the game. They got us a lot of energy early um, in the first period. I thought they were really good tonight. And, and you know, v, V's line was good. Brown was good. You know, Sammy when he got out there. So right through the lineup. And, and that's what you want, and, uh, you know, to, to, to start this, this March stretch um, with, a, with a performance like that is, is, is exactly what we needed. Yeah. I just I think it all stemmed from our start. Um, I don't know if it's fatigue or not, but just just not mentally sharp. We keep giving away the same mistakes, and then again starting the starting the period off having to kill two penalties is never never a good thing. And after that, actually, I thought we played much better. We had a, a ton of chances, and then and that's been something we've been struggling with as well. Bearing down around the net, we had some wide open looks and just bouncing off guys' sticks or guys quite aren't hitting their shot, um, and it's, it's extremely frustrating. Yeah, lots of shots, second and third period, pings off the pipe. Do you think there's still stuff to build on there for sort of future games over the next few weeks? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I think you have to at this point. You can't just uh, keep going on what's going wrong. We have, to, it's, we have a tough month, a lot of games on the road, so we're going to have to figure it out on how to bring our game to the road. And, yeah, I thought, I thought in the second and the third there actually was uh, some really good things. Uh, we're putting a bit more pressure on them, not giving them up as much. But then again, when you're chasing the game like that, you I mean you have to be aggressive. So, uh, again, it came down to just a, a poor start. Yeah, I mean, I think after after you know the disappointment of Sunday night, I thought the you know the guys had a really good training session this morning. Um, everyone was upbeat. You know, we kind of readdressed our you know our goals for for the remainder of the season, um, and we felt confident coming in tonight. And I thought you know the start certainly uh, certainly showed that. I think you know um, you know even even when they scored. Uh, on the power play early, I thought the guys kind of rebounded quickly, and we got that next one, and um, you know we rolled from there. It was a, a night for special teams, and especially in that that final period, three power plays, three power play goals. Yeah, I think it's something you know the guys were snapping it around pretty pretty well this morning, and um, you know obviously we know that that that's a you know an area of our game that we've been struggling on, um, but you know we had some you know some good chats this morning with some guys that are on the power play, and um, I thought. They looked a lot looser today in terms of not being uptight around around trying to get that first one. And I think as soon as the first one went in, I think uh, you know the guys embraced it and uh, you know did the right things on the on the second and third. There's a lot of confidence about the team tonight that maybe wasn't there on, on Sunday night. Yeah, I mean, I think I think there was a lot of pressure on Sunday night. I think the the, the guys were feeling a little bit. Um, but you know, in terms of tonight, I think uh, they went into it with an open mind, and uh, you know, I think. Everything we do is is underpinned by work work rate. Um, you know, if we don't have it, then then you know, it's hard to, to pull out victories. But uh, certainly tonight, I thought the guys did did well for near 60 minutes. It's the old cliche. Every every game now is a is, is a playoff game. You've got to win all of them. You've got Glasgow this weekend. You've got Coventry this weekend as well. And that 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 gap to to take you out of the that bottom two is yeah. getting smaller and smaller. Yeah, I mean, I think, uh, you know, that's one of the things we we uh, talked about before the game as well is we have to focus on the team just at, just above us, you know, and I think, you know, we narrowed the gap to four points tonight um, between us and Manchester. Um, we'll chase them down and then we'll see where we get to after we chase them down and then we'll move on to the next team above us. And I think, you know, maybe we're putting a little bit too much pressure on ourselves going for that playoff spot rather than just you know trying to track people down ahead of us so yeah so that's our new mindset for, for the rest of the way and just finally Colton Walls um, leaving the club and heading to, to Glasgow clan yeah I mean yeah these things happen it's hockey um, I'm not going to get too much into the the ins and outs of it but um, you know we we've got Reese coming in um, as a as a young um, defenseman that that's going to see some uh, ice time from now until the end of the year so um, yeah not too much to say on that and uh, wish him all the best uh, 
Uh, I call that controlling the game. I thought we did that from the first period. Uh, I thought we were a bit too loose after that, to be honest with you. Once we got the four goals, I think we were pretty loose and gave up too many opportunities against Pesco, probably test them too much. Um, but, uh, you know, we talked about before the game, like not having to come back and pull the goalie to get back into games and having to win in overtime or a shootout. You know, it's a stressful situation. It's a long season. We don't want to put ourselves in, in those for the next, uh, you know, there's 21 games before tonight left. Uh, if you if you make it to the final four and everything, so um, we don't want to be stressed out for those that amount of time. Um, so it's important to be able to control games. That means starting on time. That means being real solid defensively uh, and gaining control of the game. And I thought our guys did a good job of that tonight. No, um, you know, I think um, if I'm brutally honest, it was pretty awful um, for the full 60 minutes. Um, we just structurally wise, it was all over the place tonight. Um, you know, everything that we've been doing, everything that this team set up to do, we just did none of it. Absolutely zero. Um, you know, there's nothing, nothing that we can take away um, from this game here tonight. It's, I know we've got a power play goal, but still. It doesn't mask the fact that um, just everywhere, all over the ice, all three zones, um, it just, it's so frustrating because kind of, it's been almost maybe two months where we kind of take a couple of steps forward, have a couple of good performances, really good performances, and then out of nowhere, it just comes back again. And then, you know, it's just right now, it's just, the, it's the inconsistency um, of this team. Um, but. You know, we've got it all to do again in another 24 hours and we've got to dust ourselves down. It's going to be a pretty tough watch on the video tomorrow. Um, like I said, there's, there's not a lot we can take out from our side, the positives of this game tonight. I just thought it was a, a great effort from our guys tonight. I thought Guilford was pretty good there, especially in the first period, uh, skating really well. And you know they're one of the better skating teams that we face for sure. So it, it, you do have to manage their speed well. You got to manage the puck well. Otherwise, uh, you know they're going to get in their zone. And once they get in their zone, it's going to be tough to get it off them. So um, I thought we managed the game well. And then we had uh, some big special teams moments there. Obviously, a big five-on-three kill, um, the big power play goal, and then to get that. The goal at the end of that power play was was huge to put the game away. Yeah, um, you know, I asked for a response. I wasn't happy at all with uh, last night's performance, and um, we went through a few things before the game today with the areas where we had to be better in. And it's a shame because you kind of the, the first and second period, I was happy with where we were. I thought our game play structurally we were better. Um, you know, we, we got pucks to the net. We did everything but score more goals. But again, you know, another hot net minder. Um, couldn't capitalise in key situations when we had them there in the first period. And, you know, if we had, it could have it could have been a different scoreline. Um, so very happy with the first and second. And then, um, you know, the third, I don't know if tiredness kicked in, but the third kind of was just a copy of where we were last night. Um, just, you know, a few individual mistakes, tired legs, um, not having that jump to jump on pucks. Um, but you know, I, I can't take anything away from Belfast. This, like, from top to bottom, from net mining to the defensemen and to the, the forwards, they're, they're a top team. Um, you know, you can't give them too many opportunities, and you know, they're, they're they're very cute in the chances that they give you as well. And not only that, when you do get the chances, obviously you've got to beat the net miners as well. And um, again, obviously Tyler Beskowani last night, and then we had Whistle tonight. Um, you know, I think they're both at the top of the goalies charts as well statistically. So um, yeah, but again. It, 
it's tough because you go away disappointed with how we finished that game. But again, um, we've got to dust ourselves down and make the journey back home tomorrow. And um, you know, I think if we if we can play like we did, certainly the majority of the first and the majority of the second tomorrow, um, then you know we'll, we'll have chances hopefully. Um, and you know, we've we've got to try and find a way to get two points tomorrow night. Uh, yeah, definitely not. Uh, probably not the start we drew up. <laughs> you know, we give up two goals in 40 seconds. But um, no, I like the composure. Like I said, I mean, like you go back to last week. We we I thought we played you know five really good periods. We had a bad one in Cardiff, and thought we played a really good game and deserved something out of it in Belfast. And then uh, you know, once we got that first one, I felt like we kind of settled. You know, made it two one coming in, and I felt we were pretty settled coming. Um, coming into the second, I thought we dominated the second period. Power play, power play was fantastic tonight. Um, yeah, liked our overall game, um, apart from maybe the first 40 seconds. Yeah, that's um, you know at 4-3, we we're feeling pretty good about our game and. Just comes down to we're, we're struggling now. We're making the wrong mistake, whether it be a penalty or, or a turnover, at the wrong points in the game, and that's it's killing us. It's cost us many games this year. It was a real back and forth game until the end. There only one goal in it really at any time. But after the two quick goals at the first, your mindset must have been completely different, thinking that uh, you know, the game was going so well. Yeah, it was going well at that point, and then again. I mean, we keep saying it, but penalties. I mean, they're they're very good at playing the power play in the small rink. It's 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 a different type of power play at the play here, and we gave them too many opportunities. And they're they're good. They just threw some pucks in there and they got the rebounds. And I mean, we can't win like that. I mean, we only gave up eight shots through the first two periods, so I was real happy, you know, uh, we we're generating off the rush, we we're controlling the tempo of the game down in the corners, our, our special teams was good. You know, as it comes, uh, you know, sometimes you get up a couple of goals and the, and the engine goes a little cold and they were able to, to get a couple back, but, uh, you know, 5-2 on home ice uh, in a derby game, uh, big crowd, you know, obviously important to everybody. Um, you know, coupled with, uh, you know, us trying to clinch a playoff spot, two points is critical every night. Well, I mean, it's, this is something that we've battling, been battling all season. Um, it, it's just that consistent work rate. Um, you know, if you look quickly at Wednesday's night game against Sheffield, um, Everybody in the lineup was fully up for it, um, and you know, from a from watching standpoint, it was it was easy to see that um, you, you know they earned that win and by playing the right way for 60 minutes. Um, you know, we were hoping to get some momentum by that, um, and you know what, I, 
there definitely was guys engaged um, to begin the hockey game. Um, you know, but a blase turnover and a lackluster back check results in a you know an easy goal for for this team. And once you you give this team a lead in this building, um, you know, it becomes very difficult to claw your way back. You, you know, we put some pressure on early and hit. I think we hit three three uh, posts tonight. Um, but then, you know, in that second period, um, with the power play goal, um, it, it made it a tough way back. We were a bit flat in the first, um, I think maybe both teams were a bit flat, um, but we went in after the first and discussed uh, bringing the energy. Um, I think we took some, some penalties in the first period just from not skating, um, so collectively as, as a group we, did, like, you know, we, we spoke about moving our feet, getting on offence, outworking them, second efforts. So, And we, we got some PPs off that and unfortunately we didn't really get one there, but I felt that our PP really shifted the momentum for the rest of the game. So uh, we're really happy. This second period, we're, we were pretty good. And in the third period, it's a really good professional effort to close out the game. Well, I thought the first period, I thought we controlled a lot of the pace. Uh, we outchanced and we had a few more power, obviously had some power plays. Uh, we got a little sloppy in the second period and, and they scored that, that go-ahead goal. And then we got into some penalty trouble. So a lot of the momentum they carried throughout the second period for sure. And then, you know, uh, we had some looks throughout, but again, uh, we. Uh, we didn't come up with enough 50-50 puck battles. We didn't come up with the puck enough. We didn't sustain enough pressure on them. Um, you know, they were blocking shots. They were making sure pucks were out, pucks were in, and they did a good job of uh, uh, preventing us getting to the net. Uh, first period, I mean, it just came out flat. Uh, I was very shocked by that. A uh, bit of a talking to as a group uh, after the first period, um, and I liked the way we responded definitely in the second and then third. I mean, we've been there before and we've come up on the losing side too many times, so it was nice to see us stick to the, the game plan and, and get the win. We had lots of games against one another. Uh, tonight was, you know, I thought we needed to find a way to grind something out. Um, you know, their, their power play got it done in, in the dying uh, last, last 10. And, you know, and that, that's unfortunate. We didn't really have a, a pushback when we did get it. You know, they won the draw, and it was, it was short-lived there with the empty net. And, you know, we obviously had to go for it at the end and, and, and got caught. So it, it is, but it's a 3-2 hockey game. Um, tough one. Tough one to take, but uh, we battle on. We got back-to-back -back fife now, and we just got to turn our attention to that.
um, yeah, tonight I thought um, you know we really couldn't do much more um, than what we did tonight. But you know when we break the three games down, it, it was really tough on Friday. Um, we just didn't do anything right on Friday. Saturday, I thought they responded very well in the first period. I thought um, you know we certainly edged the, the first period, just couldn't capitalise, um, and to go in two 0 down on that one was it was tough. Um, and then we had an OK second, and then again third period we broke down again. But tonight it was about coming home and um, getting back to playing our style of hockey here, and we did that. Um, we worked hard. I thought we were we were good in all three zones, and you know, take nothing away from Belfast. They are they are a top team. There was a couple of times there we were ahead, and then they come back, and that's what you know that's what championship teams do. And they've got a lot of quality in that team and um, they're a tough team to play because like you say there's there's, there's no weakness in that team um, but you know I, more so from our standpoint we, we really give it a go today I, I was really happy with the effort level um, and what we did and we just fell short and I know it's tough obviously three games there we've dropped three games on the bounce um, but again we just have to worry about ourselves. Um, we're in a dogfight with all those teams now um, for positioning and we just have to approach this week in the right frame of mind again and get back to doing the good stuff and look forward to the weekend's games.